Hello everyone, welcome back to GGN. This is part three for this news report today. All right, well, I'm going to continue here. We left off with um, basically uh, talking about secession and stuff like that. And it is on the, uh, I'm sure it's on people's minds, although like the article said, they don't take it seriously. But um, I, I do feel as though there was a lot of people that weren't really represented. I mean, when are they ever in the elections? But I think this last one, it's pretty dang obvious even to a lot of people that you consider sheeple that they're not being represented and um you know just right here in my little town you know i've you know i've noticed uh, all of these don't tread on me flags up i mean there's two right here on this on my block on my street so i mean um something is uh, something is changing and you can definitely see where where america's going in two different directions opposite directions almost China's economy to overtake the United States in the next four years, to overtake the U.S. in the next four years, become the largest economy in the world, says a leading international think tank. Yeah, and it's the same international think tanks that create policies that are pushed by uh, technocrats like Kissinger and that, that actually carry out this plan. <laughs> so it's not like, oh, man, wow, you know, that's good for the Chinese. Yeah, great Chinese. No, it's, it's the same people. They're, uh, they're just monitoring uh, what they're doing. China signals greater role in global affairs, but sticks to principle of mutual non-interference. So, signaling China's intent to take up a more proactive role in international affairs, Beijing mapped out its foreign policy agenda Thursday as the National Congress of the Communist Party was basically formed. Um, what's my take on this? Well, like I said, the economy was built up, uh, but I don't think it's built up to be any more dominant. So, yeah, China, China's been recently you know, uh, kind of bolstering their military muscles. They got their first, I think, aircraft carrier going and stuff like that, uh, reshaping their military and that. But uh, I don't think they're going to be allowed to rise too much because that's not the point. The point is to have no, nas no nation states, uh, just one uh, basically global, uh, global governing entity. With all of these leaders of these uh, different nations all basically in servitude to this global government. Of course, it's done through private think tanks and, and, and Council on Foreign Relations and Bilderberg Group private closed door meetings and uh, lobbying and non governmental organizations. So that's, that's, I mean, that's the reality of it. Deadly Indiana explosion leaves investigators clueless. So last Friday, I left you with saying a basically letting you know about how oh, I saw a drone, a predator drone flying overhead here uh, in the Great Lakes area. And uh, just, and also I said that uh, an individual who I think is a possible spy that lives around me, um, whenever he leaves, something big happens. Well, he just returned today. And um, this is something that big happened uh, right in the same, uh, the same area. Uh, this explosion and it leaves him clueless well why did it leave him clueless because there's a good chance that this was a drone all of the comments on this when it came out was drones 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 right away when i see a picture of the houses that were destroyed from the air i couldn't help but wonder if they were destroyed by a drone strike after all that's what our drones do in other countries right so uh but uh you know i was just indicating about how i, I could just feel this is this is it you know this is when the drones are going to start coming home flying overhead and I've been saying this for at least a couple of years now about how eventually they're just going to start drone bombing people in their backyards while they're barbecuing. And, uh, of course, good little slaves next door wouldn't even bat an eye. They'd just go back to throw in bags or horseshoes. So, you know, well, this was done on 11 11 uh, while my friend was away. And uh, it just makes me wonder was this the official drone strike? There's already been an American killed, but it was on foreign soil, right? The Yemeni born. Uh, Yemen one American and then of course they had already had their first drone arrest out there in the what Dakotas or Montana's over farm farmers but this wasn't during the day this was at night in the middle of the night so and the other thing is this news uh, I've just covered briefly the 43 trillion dollar lawsuit awaits Obama White House and banks so this is supposedly huge news that's being covered up in the uh, alternative news media, I've actually saw one dude accusing people that didn't cover this as being stupid or, or uh, basically a part of this conspiracy. Well, I, I don't think I'm stupid, and 
I wasn't aware of it. So, you know what I mean? I'm sure there's other people that are like that too. Um, but it goes on and it says that uh, major players in the Obama regime have been targeted by a lawsuit by the Spire Law Group, who is responsible for recovering $43 trillion in laundered funds and racketeering that has been linked to major banks, crony capitalists, and government officials. So the scheme based in New York uh, will be party to the biggest federal government lawsuit in history. They say the government will attempt to recover $40 trillion. 43 trillion in taxpayer funds dispersed during the 2009 bailout that totaled is 787 billion to supposedly save the US financial markets from collapse among other things such as uh, infrastructure yet only 6% of the money was ever used for such purposes so am i going to lead this big bag push well no i'm not um, you know my thing is is the way i the way i see it is how are, are you going to, this sounds like the Dragon lawsuit, that's the first thing that was being pushed by Benjamin Fulford and David Wilcock that uh, never amounted to anything. But you're going to use a system that is run by trillionaires and set up by them for them. And you're going to use that same system uh, to basically take down these people that have created and control this system. You know, it's just like when you see little... Um, I see articles on some alternative websites, news websites, talking about, oh, this law was passed and it's going to ban TSA groping. It's like, why Why do you even have to pass a law to not be molested at the airport to begin with, you know? You can't just play one and get the other without getting the other. But the biggest thing, of course, was what? Was that this big storm came right after this, right? So you had this. And uh, right on at the same time, you had this big uh, storm come and trillions of dollars worth of stock certificates and other paper securities that were stored in a vault in lower Manhattan have suffered water damages. So the proof that these lawyers were probably going to use was destroyed. Now, do I think a complete storm was created just for this? No, I think there was multiple reasons like the gas rationing to condition the people, um, set up a kind of a military a buffer zone out there in the northeast coast. Like a, uh, make a lot of money through the insur through insurance claims, mostly fraudulent because they probably knew about it before. But uh, many reasons for it. Drivers go through checkpoint at uh, this Reddington Pass, and when you read the article, it actually sounds um, it sounds all right. You know, it's just like, oh yeah, you know, uh, discharge rounds. Come on, go away. All right, it's not gonna go away. Reddington Pass visitors had to go through a force uh, federal forest service checkpoint. Park rangers along with the Arizona Game and Fish Department made sure that visitors follow the law. People illegally shoot firearms in areas next to the main road. Many of them leave their empty cartridges, cases, and targets on the ground. You come under a shoot, it just ruins the whole area. So it sounds great and everything. But uh, the, the problem is, is what? It's illegal searches and stuff like that. And um, it goes on, it says, Forest rangers arrested four people for outstanding warrants. They also gave 11 citations, including marijuana possession, Again, where's the victim? Nobody. Underage drinking, where's the victim? Nobody. And illegally cure, killed deer. Okay, where's the victim? Well, you could say the killed deer. Well, that's only because it wasn't killed um, the way the government wanted it to be killed. Most likely, they didn't have a piece of paper giving them permission by the parents to kill that deer. Of course, they go to the, 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 the first slave they can find. Many who went through the checkpoint appreciated the, the political law enforcement uh, basically treating them like children. I don't mind being tra treated like a child at all, said Michael. Uh, he said they're keeping things regulated and non-free, making sure that uh, sheeple are doing what they're supposed to do, cleaning up after themselves. So it's a good thing. Personal details of 8 million children are on a secret database without their parents' knowledge. It contains information such as child's age, sex, and academic and behavioral records. They can be potentially shared uh, this information to external agencies such as social services and youth offending teams. Whatever the hell that means. The majority of parents are unaware that the information is being gathered or how it's used. Like I said this many times before, um, it's, it's a pretty sad state of affairs, but they're not really your children. They belong to the state. The minute you sign that birth certificate, you transfer ownership, like registration, over to the state. You know, they're used as collateral on debt to work that off. You know, there are some people that believe that those same certificates are floated on uh, on Wall Street. But you shouldn't be surprised. They're, they're withdrawing um, uh, blood for DNA purposes to store in a database. They're doing that in the United States without parents' consent. They don't need your consent. Just like to give your child uh, birth control without the parents or family's consent at school, at the re-education camp, because they don't need to tell you. 
They're not your children. And I'll give you uh, just my simple logic as to why that is. Part of it is because, you know, economically, to get the woman out of the house, they want to make it, they use ec uh, the economy as a way to engineer society. It's economic warfare. So if you make things hard enough, the mother, the, the person of the house that runs the house and all that, the nurturing, the family, keep things in order, is now out of there. Then all of a sudden, everything changes. And then they have to watch media, and they have to listen to commercials, and they have to listen to school to tell them now how they have to live in this artificial environment. And, how, and the best example of, of showing how um, uh, most families have accepted this programming and conditioning, this way, new way of life, is what? Is that, um, is that you'll hear parents say, look how, say how they look forward to their children going back to the re-education brainwashing camps, i.e. school, right? They're like, oh, yeah, you know, summer's over. I'm kind of looking forward to them going back. And then you'll hear the children actually say, well, I'm looking forward to going back to school, right? So that ties back to the Stockholm Syndrome or the um, sadomasochists, which love to be abused by their masters. But then they'll act, they'll put on this big act as if they didn't know, they weren't aware. And it's interesting because I just made this point with somebody else. Uh, just at the store recently, we were talking about distilled water, and he was trying to recommend it to people. It's over tap water, and the people were telling, "Well, it tastes like plastic." And I was like, "Tell him, like, you know, it's it's amazing what people will do. They'll come up with the craziest excuses to not listen to advice that will benefit them." But that's why it is because you know they have they have to um, rationalize the irrational. So, a 12-year-old girl forced to take drug tests to join scrapbooking club. So here you go, folks, the latest drug war hysteria. 12-year-old girl wants to join the scrapbooking club at her middle school in Pennsylvania. She can, it seems, on the condition that she has to pass a drug test. One day she took home a permission slip that said that to, par to participate in the club or any school, she would have to consent to drug testing. Before the article recommends that you go and uh, check this out at your own local school, if you do have children there, says, before you go, school yourself in the sad cases from years gone by in which Supreme Courts have ruled that it's all good to require drug tests as a condition for participation in extracurricular activities at public schools. Microsoft wants to know how many friends you've got in your living room. So Connect, if you didn't know, is a motion sensing input device by Microsoft for the Xbox 360. It's based around a webcam style add-on uh, for the council, enables users to control and interact with the Xbox. Uh, without need to touch touching the game controller through a natural user interface using gestures and spoken commands. But it says here that uh, its latest one is proposes to turn the Kinect camera into a snitch for movie studios, reporting back just how many friends you've got in your living room and what they're watching. The user the users consuming the content, sorry, on a display device are monitored so that if the number of user views license is exceeded <laughs> God Remedial action may be taken. Yeah, a lightning bolt or laser will death ray will come and strike you down. It's that blatant. A system to spy on private viewing habits. Wow. But uh, no surprise. Remember this article back in March? CIA wants to spy on you through your TV. Agency director says it will transform surveillance. So they're probably already doing it in your cable boxes and your television and everything else. So. But they say spies could watch thousands via supercomputers and people bug their own homes with web-connected devices. So our big buddy David Petraeus says the rise of connected devices in the home offers spies a window into people's lives. So that's why I try to tell anyone that has those laptops, see friends and family with those laptops with the little cameras to put some tape over them things. And DARPA wants to equip soldiers with Android phones for predator vision. So helmet-mounted cameras that give them infrared and high-definition vision that can be viewed on their Android smartphones. Let's not forget about the uh, basically mind-controlled bullets. Algorithms allow these drones to avoid obstacles with a single camera. And they ask why. Well, it's to make these drones fully autonomous. That's the goal that they're pushing now. Then the Danish have developed eye-control software for phones and tablets. They've also made uh, these smartphones from uh, into body scanners. They also made a credit card that has an LCD screen and a keyboard. Travelers leaving or entering the U.S. now have to have their payment cards scanned. U.S. phone addicts suffer withdrawal syndrome. Deprived of nature, kids exposed to shocking amount of TV. Another study urges no TV for toddlers as they cite development and even physical harm. Internet addiction is be, uh, considered a mental illness. 
The computer use by very young children causes brain development deficits that are irreversible. Like the Matrix, they're saying that there's possible evidence that our universe is a computer simulation. This is GGN. Thank you.